Tonight, on Jack and Logan Live, we will delve into various topics that influence the Romantic period. Thank you, thank you. Our first topic is galvanism, which is the action of a muscle contracting after being stimulated by an electrical current. You mean being zapped? Basically. Luigi Galvani, a renowned scientist of his time, zapped a frog leg. And what do you know? The frog leg twitched. In the popular Romantic era piece, Frankenstein, it was no mere frog though. It was a monster, reanimated from the dead. As someone from the 1800s, I would be quite scared of this entire idea. The reanimation of the dead would have been extremely frightening to people of that time. I would assume someone from any time would be frightened by the sudden reanimation of a corpse. At least, most people. Our next topic is body snatching, which is the secret removal of corpses from graveyards, lots of times to sell them for dissection and anatomical research for medical schools. Very spooky. In the late 18th century and early 19th century, medical school desperately needed bodies for research. Thus, the demand and price for bodies got high enough where people, known as resurrectionists or grave diggers, were willing to exhume bodies illegally for a profit. This element was essential to Frankenstein, as a creature was created with body parts of exhumed cadavers. Grave digging was only punishable by fine until 1832, where it was made a felony. With the prices of body th these days, what's a little fine gonna do to stop anyone? Exactly, and as any amateur economist will tell you, the implementation of a felony on gravediggers caused a supply shift, resulting in an increase in the price of cadavers. Because of this, medical students needed the financial support of their collegiate superiors in procuring these bodies, causing the concept of grave digging to lose some of its negative connotation as it was now associated with more esteemed academics. AP Econ with John Handel? Yes, sir. Our next topic is vivisection, which in its most traditional form is the performance of any surgical procedure on a living organism, typically ones with a central nervous system, just as humans do. Ah yes, vivisection, the flaying of beasts alive, though it seems in this day and age it's merely a term for experimentation on animals. Very true, Jack, but it can be done on humans as well. Throughout history, vivisection on humans has been used to further scientific knowledge or to torture, occasionally at the same time. Examples of this can be seen with Japan's Unit 731, a biological and chemical weapons experimentation division of the Imperial Japanese Army during World War II, and various experiments by the Nazi doctors during the same time. One of the most infamous Nazi doctors was Josef Mengele, who performed a variety of experiments on prisoners at the Auschwitz concentration camp. Of course it's the Nazis that would do this. On a much happier note, let's talk about Santa. Santa? We're talking about Santa's home, as our next topic is polar exploration, the race to the poles. Though there are many claims on who got to the North Pole first, the first official group to reach it was Robert Peary's on April 6th, 1909. Oh yeah, after it was confirmed Peary reached the North Pole, many trips there were cancelled, as they would no longer be the first ones there. The poor sods. One of these unfortunate fellows was Roald Amundsen. He spent months crowdfunding a journey there in hope of being the first, and had to cancel it due to Peary's success. He didn't give up though, he looked south for glory. South? The South Pole. After a few years of training and prep, he set out to be the first to reach the South Pole and arrived there on December the 14th, 1911. And I believe there's another Robert. Robert Scott and friends tried for the South too, but froze to death before reaching it. That has to be a terrible way to go. I don't know. For them, I bet it was a very ice way to die. Ha ha! <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. A shout out to one of the members of our audience tonight, Miss Arnold, and our cameraman, Russell Cooper. Until next time, this is Jack and Logan Live. Good night. We would like to thank the following sources for helping us make tonight's show possible. CorrosionDoctors.org for showing us the interesting history of galvanism. Scottish Graveyards for digging us up some great info on the mysterious history of grave digging. We would also like to thank DW.com, Wikipedia, and Unit731.org for contributing towards our vivisection portion. And finally, Cork Expeditions for helping us learn all about the polar expeditions of times past. <laughs>